So here we are. I was thinking about the journey that I got to uh, take to be here. Not the, not the flight, I mean, I mean the 16 year journey, almost to the day when I was staring at a piece of paper in my hands. All these scribbles, all these answers to this simple question. What would you do if you could do anything? That's not a bad question for all of us to be asking today. And when I looked at the piece of paper, I was struck not by what was on the piece of paper, but what was not on the piece of paper. Uh, law school was not on the list, you see, which was a problem because I was at the time <laughs> at law school in England. And I was visiting a friend and, uh, here in the U.S., and so then I thought, you know, maybe, maybe I ought to do something different, you know. And, uh, and I called the 15-digit number back to England. I better call my parents. I thought, and I, my, my, my mother answers, fortunately. <laughs> and she, she says after a while, she said, I think you better talk to dad. <laughs> what do you say to your son after all that time, all that money, all that effort? He's halfway across the world. And all of a sudden, he's saying, I think I might quit law school. Now, what would you say? Shout it out. What are you going to say? Crazy? Are you crazy? Someone said. That's nice. That's not great. And no limits world, is it? Are you crazy? So he, he listens, which is not entirely like him. And then he says, uh, he says, son, he says, you know what we've always told you? Now, what has he always told us? Yeah, everyone says, follow your dreams. I love that. No, he said, go to law school. <laughs> What's wrong with you? So, uh, so, uh, no, this is what happens. He, he listens. He says, um, you know what he's going to He says, uh, he said, because all Englishmen quote Shakespeare over tea and crumpets for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> you know, he pulls this out. It's, it's, it's a line from Hamlet. He says, uh, he says, to thine own self be true, son. That's what we've always told you. He never said that to me in his whole life. <laughs> but he pulls it out in this moment. You know, he pulls out this moment in this. Well, I did. I quit law school and I pursued a different, a different life altogether, really to teach and to write. And I'll tell you what was written on that piece of paper was a question. And it's kept me up at night, so to speak, obsessed, consumed for all these 16 years. Here's the question. Why is it that otherwise successful people and companies don't break through to the next level? That's it.